Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to exclude the um, the opponent for MMA. So say you're trying to set an MMA lineup and you don't want to have both opponents that are, that are facing each other to show up in your lineup because you figure, well, I mean, whoever loses is not going to score as many points. So, you, so if you only want to get one of those two people in there, what we're going to do is just a couple steps and in, uh, in order to get that. So what I have here is the DraftKings download. It's from columns A over to column F. This is just what simply what you get from DraftKings. And basically what we're going to do is look at the, the two, sort these by projected points per, per dollar, and whoever has the lower in the opponents, we're going to make them a zero. So then it's going to only pull in the higher opponent player. So to do that, we're going to just take a couple steps. Because right now it's sorted by salary. So first we want to get projections per dollar. So we're going to equal basically just projection per salary. Now this is average points. I mean, this is just what we're going to use. You can change this to like whatever your own projections are. So then I'm going to copy this down. So here's our projections per dollar. And we want to sort this. So we'll get the data, then sort. I'm just going to sort it descending. So now we've got all the players. So really, Derek Brunson is the best points per dollar. Because he is, look, he's got 81 points, which is almost higher than everyone else. And it's per his $10,000 salary. So what we're going to do next is do a count. Well, since he's the highest player, we don't need to do it in this first column. We're going to do a count of how many times this match shows up in the past. So see, like, here's Brunson versus Hall. Like, here's Brunson is the highest-ranked player. Hall is, look at one, two, is the sixth-highest-ranked player out of here. So odds are he's going to score good, but if you want to only have one or the other person in your lineup, either Brunson or Hall, you need to do this step, and that'll take, uh, that would take Hall since he's the lower person out of here. So we're going to start off here. We're going to make a formula called count if the range is going to be this. We're going to count. We're going to check this match. So it's be D2 to D2, comma, whatever in D3. So what this is doing here, it's looking in this range D2 to D2, and how many times is Johnson versus poor here show up up here and it shows zero times what we want to make sure though is we put a dollar sign in front of the two so when we copy it down it's always looking at this first two so now if I copy this down see what happens here <clears throat> it shows a one where the match where there's the higher ranked player is is above there so see these are all zeros and here's one because we're looking in this range here for Brunson versus Hall, and it does show up once, so it counts once. See, it's looking from D2 to D6. It says, how many times in D2 to D6 does Brunson versus Hall show up? One time. So now all these people with one just means they're the lower-ranked player based on projections per dollar in the match. So now all we got to do is create a new projection. In the first, Since the first player, that he's the highest-ranked player, we obviously want him in there. So we're going to put the new projection. We're just going to put the formula E2. But now here is where we need to look. So we're going to do an if statement. If this cell equals the 1. If it equals 1, that means he's the lower ranked player. We don't want him in there, so we're going to make his projection 0. Otherwise, we're going to choose the projections, which is E3. So we press Enter. So now when I copy this down, Oops. I'm going to copy it. All right, there we are. So I copied it down. So now see if you look. See here, Brunson versus Hall. Uriah Hall is shown up as a zero projection. And that's just because Brunson's already shown up as a higher projections per dollar. So now we get these new projections here. And these are just the higher ranked player. And now when you run your solver you will use this column as your projections 
I'm not gonna go through all the solver because those are in different videos on how to actually use it to create optimal lineups. But these, this is just the column that you'd use when you're creating your your uh, projections. See, I'll just scroll through it quickly here. Um, this is an old one that I ran. So here's where to the score and the players and everything. So all it is that that's pretty much how you do it. You, you've got your new set of projections now with only the higher ranked player in there and when you create lineups there will be no lineups where the person who's facing the other person like where Brunson and Hall would both show up in the same lineup. Alright, thanks a lot.